Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where I go through a cookbook created by my aunt of a bunch of recipes from my grandmother. For this week, I decided to choose uh, something that really stuck out to me. It's Mammy Eisenhower's Million Dollar Fudge. Now, whether or not my grandmother knew Mammy Eisenhower well enough to have her give her this recipe, I don't know. I'm not here to question it. I'm just here to make it. Now, if you'll notice that the handwriting of this recipe is different from last week's, I'm still going to tell you all of the ingredients and maybe do some translating because some of these words are pretty foreign. Here are the ingredients you will need to make Mammy Eisenhower's Million Dollar Fudge. You'll need four and a half cups of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, a pinch of salt, one tall can of evaporated milk. Now, I went through the uh, grocery store and looked for the tallest can I could find, and I got it. There was a lot of short, stubby ones, but not many tall cans. 12 ounces of chocolate bits, which I went ahead and assumed those were little chocolate chips. You need 12 ounces of German sweet chocolate. A pint of marshmallow cream, in parentheses, two jars, or one package of miniature marshmallows. And finally, you'll need two cups of nut meats. <laughs> now, Webster's Dictionary describes nut meat as a noun. It's a kernel of a nut, typically edible. So you could use any nut you wanted to. I had a bunch of, of walnuts left over from the week before, so I went ahead and just used those. Now, this is how to actually make the fudge. You will first need to take the sugar, the butter, the salt, and the evaporated milk and boil them in a pot for six minutes. Now that's not six minutes from the second you turn it on. It actually has to start boiling, and then you will start the timer. Right when you put it on to the stove, you get a little bit of time. So go ahead and uh, combine the chocolate bits, the German sweet chocolate, the marshmallows, and the nut meats into a bowl so it's ready to go. Then you will go ahead and get a container that you're going to put it in uh, and get it ready. I went ahead and put aluminum foil on the bottom of these because I hate cleaning, and this would fix that problem because I had no idea how runny or soupy this would be. I mean, it's fudge, but you never know. So after the six minutes of it boiling, you would pour the molten lava into the bowl of chocolate and marshmallows and nut meats. And then you will stir until all the chocolate is melted. Then you will pour it into a pan. From there, you will let it stand for a few hours before cutting it. And then it says store in a box. It doesn't say what type of box, just any box will do. It could be a shoe box, it could be a letter box, it could be a candle box. So after letting it sit for a couple hours, cut it up and uh, stack them up, put them on a plate and eat them. And I had one of them and yeah, this is fudge. And if it's not a million dollar fudge, it's million calorie fudge. Because looking at any of the ingredients on that, I think the healthiest thing in this entire recipe is probably the butter. So when they say store it in any box, make sure it's an uh, airtight box that'll last a very long time. Or you have at least 60 people you're willing to share this fudge, fudge with. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll be back next week for I'm not sure what. There's a lot of pages in here. We got some work to do. Thank you.